I'm going to tell you about the architecture of Arduino. Uh, now, what you can see here is a Arduino Dumilon. Uh, there are many types of Arduinos, and this is one of the common one you find in the market. Now, you can see several components labeled on the Arduino. They are the main. They are the main components of Arduino. So, I'm going to talk about each of them in brief, so that we get an overall view of how Arduino works. Let me first talk about the ATMEGA328, the controller at the, at the center. Mm, that's the main part of the circuit. That's manufactured by ATMEL and uh, it is here on the Arduino board. Um, it pro it uh, is responsible for most of the thing that Arduino does. Uh, the processing is uh, <coughs> done by it. <laughs> setting output and store high is done by it the code is stored in it and everything and what the rest of the components do uh, is that they provide a user friendly interface for the Arduino to work properly mm. so that's why Atmega328 is one of the most important uh, components in circuit and even if you lose uh, if even if you uh, get some of Tried up in uh, the controller, uh, it's uh, provided on a socket, you know, on an IC socket, so you can replace it, uh, that wouldn't be a problem. And when you replace it, you need to go to the market and ask them a new at Mega328. And after you get the new one, you can just pop this out with the screwdriver. And when you put that uh, at Mega328 in, would it uh, start working? The answer is no don't start working suddenly you should actually have something called the bootloader the bootloader is the code that should be dumped into the uh, controller before it can be used in the Arduino environment so uh, you should uh, get the bootloader uh, in the controller that that is uh, done through these pins in circuit serial programming pins so that's why they are important and you have a reset button you have a 16 megahertz clock. Uh, this uh, crystal, 16 megahertz crystal, is used to clock the frequency of uh, at mega 328 to 16 megahertz. Uh, at mega 328 even has an internal clock of 8 megahertz, but uh, it's better to use 16 megahertz external clock. You can either configure it to use the internal clock or the external clo clock in the bootloader. And you have several output you have 13 digital input output pins uh, of which uh, you can see six of them provide pulse width modulation pulse width modulation is uh, a technique by which you can uh, give virtual analog outputs and you can also see here that you have six uh, analog input pins you can uh, use uh, these input pins for the accelerometer for example the accelerometer can be used. Uh, can uh, the values from the accelerometers can be read in uh, from these analog input pins? And you have 13 digital input output pins. You can either set them to high or low by dumping the code into the controller. Mm. And then you have a test LED at pin number 13. When pin number 13 is high, uh, the test LED glows on, and when 13 is low, it glows off. So you can. Uh, Debug your circuit easily without uh, without uh, connecting external LEDs, and uh, this component is also one of the most important components in circuit. It is uh, the USB to serial UART interface. USB, as you know, is the universal series, uh, serial bus, which is uh, uh, on your laptop, and the UART interface. Uh, what it does is it uh, uh, your computer works at 2.5 gigahertz and your Arduino works at uh, 64 uh, 16 megahertz. So to get them in sync, you need to have the UART interface. The UART is Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. So it clocks both the laptop and the Arduino to a common frequency so that they can communicate with each other. Uh, you also have uh, RX and TX pins here. Uh, the when computer sends some information to the Arduino, the TX pin glows, 
know the rx pin loss and then arduino sends some information the tx pin loss so that way you can see if the if uh, the arduino is communicating with something and you have an external power supply uh, a 9 volts power supply can be given here mm, uh, you can also use a battery and 5 volts you can also power your arduino through a usb interface using 5 volts thanks